Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about dictionary interview questions. So we know that dictionary is a data type in Python. So let's start with the first question. So what are Python dictionaries? So the Python dictionary is a built-in data type. Dictionaries are used to store data values in key value pair. So we know to declare a dictionary, you need to enclose this key value pairs inside a curly braces and the values are stored in the format of key value pairs and the properties of dictionary are dictionary is a collection which is ordered it is a changeable and do not allow duplicates it means that key cannot be get duplicated inside a dictionary values can be duplicated but the key should always be a unique now let's start with the practical implementation of dictionary so here i will declare one variable let's have a variable as fruit and if I say this as a inside this curly braces now let's check the type of this particular variable if I say print type then you need to pass the variable name fruit let's save this code and run now so see we are able to get the type of this particular fruit variable as dictionary because it is enclosed inside a curly braces now how to pass a values to this particular dictionary so you need to pass the value in the format of key value pair so first you need to provide a key then separated by a colon and then you need to provide a value so in this format you need to provide so key then colon then value and if you want to provide another key then it should be separated by comma now let's provide the key and value here let's say first key what we will do we will provide key as the fruit name and value as the price now let's provide first key let's say mango and then we will have the value of mango as 100 okay now this is the first key value we have now let's separate it by comma let's provide another key value let's say second one is grape and its value is 100 let's make it to 80 okay so we have two keys inside this particular dictionary now let's try to print this particular dictionary here fruit let's run this code so see we are getting a dictionary key mango its value 100 separated by comma another key grape and its value 80 so you can see our dictionary is ordered in the same way the values we have entered we are able to access in the same way so that was the first property which is ordered now let's see what it's mean by changeable so we know that list can be changed once declared but tuples cannot be changed because tuples are read only data type now for the fruit you can make the changes here let's say you want to change the value of grape here so how to do this so you can provide here dictionary name fruit then you can provide in the square brackets the key fruit of grape so what this particular statement will do let's understand this before let me copy this statement here and print it here fruit of grape so what this statement will return here as this key is of string type you need to pass it inside the inverted commas right so here now let's run this code so see this is returning the value so whatever key you will pass inside the square brackets for this particular dictionary it will return the value of that key so we have passed grape then it is returning that value so to change a value what you can do you can change it here let me paste it here and we will say fruit of grape now it's a 90 okay let's make it to 90 and if you try to print fruit now you will notice the difference see for mango 100 and grape 90 because we have changed the value of key grape to 90 so in this way you can make the changes in the dictionary so dictionary is changeable and do not allow duplicates so uh, let's add another key here let's add mango again okay mango and now what we will do we will change it to 110 as there is no error but the property says dictionary doesn't allow duplicate now let's check that if I run this code see we have provided three keys right 
mango, grape and mango. But we are getting only two values here. We are getting mango and it is not 100, the first value. It's getting updated to 110. So what it means? It means that the first key was mango, its value was 100. Then grape, its value is 80. Okay, but after that we have changed it to 90. So that's why we are getting a 90. But here again, this mango key is updated to 110. So that's why we are able to get here 110. It means that if you provide a duplicate keys, the latest value which you have provided, that value will be assigned to that particular key. Now if I add another key here, let's add orange. And now let's make its value to 110. Now this particular values are duplicated, right? Now let's see what difference we get. See, the values can be duplicated means two different keys can have the same values, but the same key cannot be duplicated. Like mango was duplicated two times, but it only considers the updated value, which is 110. So I hope you understand the basic concept about the dictionary here. Another thing I want to cover here is how to access a particular value from the key. Let me show you that. What I will do now, I will make one variable, let's say x. And if I say fruit and inside the square bracket, I need to pass the key to get the value. If I pass here orange, then I will be able to get the value of orange here. If I try to print x here, let's run this code. So I will get here 110, right? Because the value of key orange is 110. Another way to get the value of a particular key with the help of get function. So in that case, you don't need to provide these square brackets. You need to make use of built-in function get and inside this get, you need to pass the key. If I pass here orange and if I try to run this code, so see, you'll be able to get 110. So that are some of the important points you need to remember about the dictionary. Now let's move towards the next question. So how will you get all the keys from the dictionary? So there is a built-in function called keys. You need to provide a dictionary name, then dot operator and keys function. So that will return all the keys from the dictionary object. Let me show you that. So if I provide here dictionary name dot keys. So what this function will do, it will return all the keys and it will be stored inside this variable x. Let's run this code. So see, we are able to get all the keys mango, grape, and orange we are getting only one time mango because duplication is not allowed and what if after getting the keys here i try to update the dictionary let's say i add another key here so let's add another key what was the name of our dictionary which is fruit and we will add another key here let's say banana and we will assign the value to it as 20 okay and now we will print x let's run this code okay now let me show you how it is working so first time our dictionary has only these three keys mango grape and orange so this function will return three keys and you are trying to print here so you are getting mango grape and orange now you have updated your dictionary you have added another key here banana and having value 20 and again you try to print this x so ideally it should print only these three values right because here only the statement is executed after that we are updating the dictionary but by default whenever you make any changes to your dictionary then by default this particular variable will get updated so it will get this new key also so even if you are not using this fruit dot keys after this statement still you are able to get the value of x as updated so you are getting here banana so in this way you can access all the keys of a dictionary with the help of this keys function just you need to provide the dictionary name and make use of keys built-in function in the same way you do have how will you get all the values from the dictionary so you have the values function so you need to provide the dictionary name dot values we can get all the values from the dictionary object so in this way you need to provide dot values function let me show you that as well so here I will replace these keys with values now. 
let's run this code now instead of keys you will get the values so first time the dictionary has only three values right the mango 110 then grape 80 and orange 110 so this particular statement will return the values inside this x so we will print this x so we are getting all these three values after that you are updating your dictionary you are adding one more key and value to that particular key and then again you are printing this x so as we have seen before similar to keys function the values function will also get updated whenever you update your dictionary so here you are updating your dictionary and then you are trying to print the value of x so you will get 20 here also because by default it will automatically get updated when you ch make any changes to your dictionary so remember these two functions dot keys and dot values to get all the keys and all the values from a dictionary respectively so we will cover another topics of dictionary in the next video thank you for watching